Welcome everybody to the October Winko Fireworks vlog update. I am Dave Gucci Guccione. This is my caller, and we're going to kind of give you an update of what's going on currently right now with the industry, Winko Fireworks, and whatever else we decide to talk about. Right, Mike? That's right. Well, good morning, everybody. Um, first, um, our Ponchatoula warehouse that did you know suffer some floods or a flood um, is really close to being back to operational. Um, the the phones still are staticky, uh, internet still kind of intermittent, but we're, we, we feel confident that we'll have things going here in the next couple of weeks. I think most of you have people's cell phones, so their cell phones work just fine. Um, but, uh, and they're getting containers in, which is great. Um, so we, we feel very confident that we'll be up and running and plenty in time for the, for the New Year's season. Um, I think some of you maybe have heard or have not heard, China is like every place, like, just like America, all their raw materials are going up again. Um, they're suffering just like we are in a lot of ways with, with freight coming from other areas and just the raw materials going up. So, you know, at first they said it was going to be a 6% increase across the board um, on all items uh, in the, that are currently being made and then, of course, items are still to be made. Um, we're still negotiating that, trying to get it down a little bit, um, trying to get our suppliers maybe to, to, to pay for part of that. But so I, I look for an increase to be somewhere between four to six percent on the FOB um, if, if you've ordered a direct container from us. Um, we're still negotiating, but just I want you guys to know that's probably going to start happening early November. Um, and, and we just got to deal with it, unfortunately, on top of the freight and everything. So, I was going to say, is that going to affect us this season out of the warehouse, you think? So on the, on the warehouse prices right now, as, as, as you all know, we are only selling to our southern customers that have a true Christmas, New Year's season. Just because we still have a lot of inventory to come in and we, you know, we have to allocate this inventory so everybody can get some of it. So their prices will not go up uh, because of this. this. But obviously in the spring, we'll have to raise our price. Um, freight, since we came out the price list, overseas freight's gone up twice. Right now, we're eat, Winco Fireworks is eating that. Um, once We'll have to pass that on in the spring unless we get lucky and the freight goes down, which who knows? Who knows, guys? <laughs> I, I, I just, you know, I'm just tired of trying to guess this whole game. Yeah. Um, shipping is still an issue. You know, it's finally on the news after all this time. Uh, we've been talking about it for a long, long time. And the news is finally, because it's going to affect Halloween, it's affecting Christmas. Now people are starting to talk about it. Um, but there's, you know, between what's at the dock and then the water is close to 100 containers in California, and it just continues. Yeah. Um, they're getting, even in China, they're having issues. Um, and so, you know, stuff that left October 1st, we don't know if we can get in time for the New Year's season. We just don't. So I can't count on that, but, you know, we may, we may not. Um, we should, but who knows? Um, you know, the other issues in China besides just the raw materials is they're having blackouts. I mean, they don't have enough energy to build to, um, um, produce all day. So they're actually cutting some of the power in some of these areas, um, you know, in the middle of the day. So China's having some problems. I mean, they're, they're, they're loving all this business they're getting from us United States people, but they, um, they're having some issues as well. And I just think we all just going to have to just kind of, you know, be ready for all this and just deal with it. And that's what we're going to do. And you know, we're going to continue to let you all know what's going on as much as we know. But gosh, it changes. It seems like weekly and, and sometimes daily. So um, we just, you know, always will be up front with you and we'll just see what happens. Um, I think that's about all. Yeah, you know, I was just going to say it finally made the news. I was watching the national, the ABC National News the other day, and they actually had a five minute segment on just the whole shipping crisis and the whole supply chain issue. Um, you know, of course, the average. You know, American citizens kind of late to the game, but they've been seeing it in the stores for quite a while now. I know that when I shop at Costco or Sam's Club, they have restrictions on certain items. There's a lot more stuff. Mike and I discussed this the other morning. There's big holes on the shelves now. And um, and so I think just as the American public starts to see this, they'll kind of start feeling what we've been feeling actually as a fireworks industry for the past year, you know, we've had shortages and, and challenges with our supply chain. Um, I just have a couple things here. Well, one other thing. Yeah, we go ahead, Mike. You know, with this, this price increase and thinking the freight will probably not go down, um, you know, yesterday I canceled, um, not the whole order, but some of the order of a lot of our big zipper cakes. They seem to be getting affected the most. I just, I just frankly don't think the American consumer is going to pay that kind of money. So um, we, we had a lot on order, so we're still going to have some, don't get me wrong. 
but I cut it back because I just think it's, um, I think we all have to start looking at our product line. We have to look at our margins and, you know, we don't want to lose that in sell. And, and, you know, I've, I preach this to a lot of people, but, you know, we got so much new business over the last two years due to COVID. We don't want to lose that new business um, because they walk in the store and the price is just way too high. We're going to have to eat a little bit of a margin, I feel, in order for um, the consumer to buy the product at the end of the day. You know, have a conversation with your sales uh, representative here at Winko Fireworks about that. And we could definitely talk you through it and some ideas for you for retail pricing strategy in the future. So, yeah, I just have a couple things. Once again, I think Mike mentioned it earlier. Um, we are not taking on any new customers still. Um, we hope in the spring that we'll be in a better position with inventory. But until we physically say that inventory, get on board and uh, get on the rail and get to us, We'll have to kind of wait to make that decision. So it might not be a January decision. It might be a little bit later in the spring. But, but currently for the fall, for our Southern customers, especially, we just unfortunately can't take on any new customers. Um, there's also another thing right now, since we're in the middle of sparkler season, there is a industry-wide sparkler shortage. And um, Winko has a solution for that. Um, you can reach out to your sales associate, and we can discuss that with you. But it's not a traditional 20-inch sparkler. It's a Japanese sparkler which is a very high, high quality sparkler. Um, we have them in stock. Um, uh, most of the rest of our other sparklers, we don't have any sparklers in stock, you know. So it's, and, and I was getting phone calls from other distributors the other day, and, and I think there's a big, big panic in the wedding industry right now with the lack of sparklers. So, Mike, I think that's probably well, about the it. Japanese sparkler, we're not talking about the neon sparkler. This is a very unique sparkler. It's, it's they're gold and they're silver. They're for, they are for weddings, but they obviously will work for the American consumers as well. Absolutely. Um, to, to, if they want a sparkler, it's it's there's nothing else there out there like that. And um, so anyway, talk to your local yeah. sales rep. On Absolutely, we'll too. be happy to talk to you about that sparkler. Anyway, so I think that wraps it up for this, Mike. Anything else? Yep, I think we're good. All right, great. Well, we look forward to hearing from you. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us directly, and we will talk to you real soon. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Go Chiefs. Go Chiefs. Yeah. <laughs>